Let's talk about uh, switch debouncing. Now, when you turn a switch on, the physical contacts can bounce, and uh, it can bring the uh, the voltage down to zero. Now, on a uh, microcontroller, it can actually see the difference here and that that uh, the amount of time it takes to do that, and it can think that you have uh, multiple presses on the button or the switch. So, in order to eliminate this switch bounce. Uh, we're going to test uh, six different methods to, to eliminate that. But first, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the scope and see what just about the, the bounce on the switch looks like by, by itself. So here we are. All right, so that's, that's going to be our baseline. And then we'll try this here where we have a uh, capacitor and resistor in series, and we're switching across the capacitor. We'll see what that looks like. Well, that wasn't so good. So we're going to try it this way with the uh, uh, still the same a resistor and a capacitor in series, and then we're switching across the capacitor. This one ramps up, so that's that's not too bad. This one here we have a. Uh, uh, resistor and a uh, capacitor in, in parallel with a uh, diode in between them here. We'll see what that looks like. Uh, that's not, not so good. Let's take a look down at this one here where we're using a MOSFET. Now we've got the resistor and capacitor in parallel again and uh, when we, we Turn the switch on, it, it activates the, the MOSFET, turning on the output. So we'll take a look at what that looks like. That's, that looks pretty good. Now, this here is a one-shot. We use a NOR gate here, and when you press this down, it just uh, puts a pulse out. So uh, the way it does that is that this is, uh, we have a, uh, or five volts here and it's it comes on this side of this gate here and when these two are uh, high this side is going to be low over here and uh, with this side's low this side this three is going to be low and this is going to be low here because it's uh, the switch is open so that means when these two are are low we get a, a high out on this side here so now we have a, a high uh, positive voltage on both sides of that uh, capacitor and the uh, so this side of the capacitor is, is basically tied to pin uh, 14 on the chip, which is tied to our VCC. So we're basically shorting it out through our 10k ohm resistor here. So the capacitor is is uh, doesn't have any charge on it. When we push the switch down here, this uh, this side goes this side goes high, this side goes low, bringing that to the negative rail, and allowing the capacitor to charge up through this resistor here. When it does that, this is going to go uh, low here, and then this will go high over here. And that'll turn on the, our, uh, that'll be our pulse out. And as soon as the capacitor charges up, this will this will turn back off. So this is our time base here. So uh, that's how that, that works. And I'll show you what that looks like on the scope. So that's, that is very clean. That's pretty good. Now, that's just for one, a one shot or one pulse. If you want to leave it on, if you want to turn the switch and leave it on, you can use a Smith trigger like this. So, Now, Smith trigger has uh, um, hysteresis in, built into it. So, simple circuit. We have, a, uh, we have our switch across the capacitor and then a 10K to, uh, to the positive five volts over here okay and this one goes to ground on this side so when we turn the switch on this this goes positive and we'll take a look at uh, what that looks like on the scope that one's pretty much perfect that one looks good now if you're using a uh, for one for one uh, contact for one switch uh, you know that's a fairly large chip to, to be putting on your circuit. So if you have uh, up to six switches you want to uh, debounce, uh, that'd be a good choice. 
I kind of like this MOSFET over here. It's got uh, just a few components for if you had one switch. Uh, if you really want to go uh, bare bones, this one here is, it looks like, uh, you know, it ramps up a little bit, but there's no bounce to it at all. The, these two both bounced a little bit, but uh, I kind of like that one. And then the, the uh, MOSFET and uh, the Schmidt trigger, of course, I've used this a lot. And I've used this one shot a lot when you're just using a push button. But uh, that's uh, debouncing the switch. Thank you.